Oftentimes when designing in SolidWorks, I'll end up with sketches not quite where I want them. There are a couple of options for moving sketches when that happens. First off, there's a really simple option. If the sketch is completely undefined, you can just select it, then grab it and drag it. This is the simplest, but usually sketches aren't completely undefined. You can see that this one is because all of the sketch elements are blue. But a more typical sketch is something like this. You can see that two of the box edges are black because their vertex is snapped to the origin. Moving sketches gets harder when you have any amount of definition. If we select this sketch, try dragging it, and you can see that it's going to stay locked to the origin. Clearly a simple select and drag won't get the job done. In these situations, the tool I always used is Move Entities. Let's choose Move Entities. For the entities to move, select the sketch. Then click on the Start Point dialog and choose the point to use for moving the sketch. Once it's selected, just drag the mouse to where you want to place it and click to put it down. Cool, that's not too complicated. A limitation of Move Entities, however, is it doesn't do so well if you want to snap to a location. Here's what I mean. Last time we just moved to a random floating spot. Now let's say we want to snap the bottom right corner of the Move Me box to the origin. I'll position it so they line up and drop it. It looks like they're lined up, but you'll notice that everything is still blue. And if I select and drag, the whole thing moves. They aren't actually linked. A simpler and more powerful way to move sketches that I found out about recently is using the control key. First select the sketch elements to move. Then hold down the control key and pick a point to drag. And while holding down your left click, start dragging it. A copy appears and you can drag and place it wherever you want. When you let go of the click, the sketch releases. The problem is we ended up with a copy when we actually just wanted to move the original. I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo that. Now let's try again. We have the sketch we want to move selected. Now hold down Ctrl and drag a point. The trick is if you look closely at the cursor, you'll see a little plus sign. That means we're going to get a copy. But if we release the Ctrl key, the plus disappears. Now instead of a copy, we get a move. That's the trick. If you want a copy, release the click first. If you want to move, release the Ctrl key first. Now snap this to the origin and let it go. This time the lines turned black, and you can see that if we try selecting and dragging, it won't budge from the origin. And that's it. If you have an undefined sketch, just select and drag. If you want a free-floating move, you can either use move entities or control drag, whatever you prefer. But if you want to snap to a location, then the control drag method is the way to go.